I need something to cover that tear in the seat. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Life is Strange Before the Storm. What got a damn and don't want up, man. What's this? A little bobblehead. Yeah, I remember that bobblehead from the original game. Yeah, definitely spruce up the dashboard a bit. In the last episode, after the fire started, we uh, got caught summoned to Principal Wells' office. Uh, and he had learned about me ditching with Rachel. And Rachel was originally going to take the blame. Oh, the parents were there too, by the way. Mm, I think I'm all smashed out. For now. You should be. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, Chloe's mom, Joyce, was there, and Rachel's parents were there. And, uh, damn. Um, so Rachel was going to take the blame originally, which is normal. Like, she should have, because it was her idea. But then Principal Wells threatened, well, not threatened, but pretty much told her she's not going There's to be. probably something on the boat. She's not going to be part of her play. And she has the main role. They were going to give it to Victoria. No. Not going over there. And, um... We hate Victoria, so yeah. <laughs> we weren't going to allow that to happen. Plus, we weren't going to allow Rachel to take that kind of hit. So, we took the blame, ultimately. And we got expelled. Hmm. After we got expelled, we met up with David and Joyce... In the parking lot of the school, where David gave us the. Damn, you cigarettes. <laughs> Le learning about the early cigarette struggle. Um. He gave us the beautiful news of him moving into the house. Trying to say that he's moving into the house for the betterment of Chloe's. Uh. What's the word? I don't know what it is right now. But for the bene benefit of Chloe, which is pretty much pretty bullshit. Like, I don't agree with that. But it is what it is, and Chloe didn't take it well, as one could assume. So then she ran off here to the junkyard. How long she's been here, I don't know, but we found the car that she had in the original game and now she is currently we're currently helping her spruce up the car put parts Shit. in it yeah that fire is still going that fire is still going strong we're helping her fix up the car there it is right there in the distance oh let's graffiti this what do i want to tell my fellow sailors of the seven trash heaps Bury treasure Got it. We found the battery so far for the car. Now we're trying to find a carpet for the flooring. We're trying to find a light bulb. And we're trying to find the seat covers. What you got there? A map. <laughs> That's cool. Let's look at it. I don't know for a fact that there isn't buried treasure there. Okay. The cabin. Damn, Chloe, how much climbing are you going to do today? I'm going to start calling you Ezio. <sighs> Just going to take a seat there, huh? Reflection time. That's a nice shot. I, I like that shot. Fire. I don't think she meant to, but I also don't think she didn't mean to. Uh -huh. Looks like a cool uh, the thumbnail. Something so destructive can also be so beautiful. Or a fire that began in a trash can could 
grow to light up the entire sky. That's horrible, though, for nature. In conclusion, fire. Pretty sweet. Kind of interesting, too, because there was talk about fire um, in my second episode of the, the series. I'm talking about how important it was to try to um, avoid such widespread of fire and random burning we signed a petition for it or a paper or whatever okay we got game to play let's play nice music though i'm, I'm always gonna say that about this game i can't get enough of the music and i uh i don't even f listen to acoustic guitar stuff often but I, I am a fan I like it I mean now I do I, I didn't used to I used to always run to like punk rock or rap music hip hop R&B that type of stuff it's all fun and games till this guy enslaves everyone a little bit of house music light the way robo bulb bulb huh well, we got our bulb. Smut, what? <laughs> These magazines are so gross. Who would look at this? Okay, I'm still looking, but it's only because I'm so fixated by how weird it is. <laughs> So Chloe's still like, ew, titties, ew, sex, yucky. I know one fire that doesn't need any poking. Radio. This is, um, Rachel. This becomes Rachel and Chloe's little hideout here in this little area. Little shelter. Looks like a seat cover there. This might make the perfect cover for that torn seat. I think that was the cover in the original game, too. And so now all we're missing, really, is the floor carpet. We could shut that off at any time. We're not going to. Though. I'm gonna keep it on. What's this? You're a long way from the country club, guy. Oh, that could be for the floor. Floor. Or something. <laughs> I've been wanting to play miniature golf. I haven't played miniature golf in a while. I've never played real golf. That would be something I'll try to do one day. Put on my khakis. Now, this is a Vortex Club. I wouldn't mind joining. Motley Ball. Be whoever you are as we eat, drink, and merrily say fuck you to Reagan and his oppressive. Or Reagan? Has oppressive capitalist regime. Communism. Atheism. Free love. Blackwell Academy, class of 81. Wow. Even back then, huh? Wow. Christmas lights. Gotta love a place where even Christmas looks depressing. That's impressive. To make Christmas look depressing. Rug? This rug has some miles on it. I'm surprised you don't use that. Maybe we'll come back and pick up some of this stuff. <clears throat> Beer bottle. I think I looked at that already. What's that? Sorry, Max. I think I'm more jealous of you than anything. Hopefully, I'll be escaping this place soon, too. Yeah, see, she has all the intention of leaving. So none of it really mattered. Alright, let's spruce this bad boy up. It's got potential. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's put the bulb. 
the robo bulb. I'm gonna start calling Chloe Tinkerbell. The pirate seat. <laughs> That's so ghetto. <laughs> but hey, if you can make it work. You can hang here, but I get to pick the tunes. Okay? <laughs> Good talk. This thing looks like a rusted out shopping cart. Probably drives like one too. That's if it ever does drive, which seems questionable. Still, how sweet would that be? I never even questioned if she had her license. It never occurred to me to ask or wonder. We're gonna find out in this game, I guess. Yeah. Right. It's Frank. Oh. Hey, Frank. What's up? Yeah, just checking in to see how you're doing. Really? No. Ha. <laughs> some business to discuss. Where can we meet? What about? Oh, like drugs? Right. I'm hanging out in the junkyard north of town. The junkyard. That's great. Stay there. I'll see you. Okay. And Frank? Burner phone? I'm not in trouble or anything, right? I don't know. Did you do anything you should be in trouble for? <laughs> like, <laughs> in general? The fire? To you. I'll see you soon. Yeah, what could Frank want? And as far as I've seen, he hasn't had his dog yet either. So I wonder where Pompadou is. Maybe we'll find out how Pompadou uh, joins him. So now we just wait for Time Frank. Time for a hard-earned smoke break. Just turn on the light. Looking good, Robo Bulb. Let's graffiti the back. You only get one chance to make a first expression. Mystical. The oh shit. Sees all. That is the the tag she used in the original game too. I remember seeing that. Tell me if we're ever really getting out of Arcadia Bay, all seeing eye. Wow, so I did that like canon. That's cool. Does Principal Wells eat pizza with a fork and knife? <laughs> I knew there was something off about that guy. Cigarettes, honk the horn. Does the horn even work? <laughs> My controller vibrated. Fixing the truck was hard work. Time to kick back and light up when I'm done looking around. Well, we're gonna have to, even though I don't want to indulge in her smoking, drinking habits. But in order to advance the game, we have to, so. Because this is who Chloe is. We can't change it. I think that's Chloe's spirit animal. The raven. I can't express them better than you. You have buried childish qualities from make sense of me, friend. Make sense of me. I have many destructive qualities from make sense of me. 
dozing off. More nice music. I'm gonna keep saying it every time I... I can't express that enough, and I won't. I won't try. Um... But yeah, she she's been through a lot. That's why she drunk, drinks and smokes, as as do most people. Shit. And what the fuck? I slept all day. Yeah, this ain't normal. That should not be moving. Well, what the hell? I'd like to know the same. Someone's roasting marshmallows over an open motor flame. Raven or crow. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna say it's a raven though. Crows usually be in packs, don't they? Dad. Or is it ravens that are in packs? I don't know. Uh, marshmallow. Do We're gonna roast marsh. Even like marshmallows. We're gonna roast marshmallows with our dear old deceased pops. Do I feel like roasting a marshmallow? Well, I'm the player, and I do, so that means you do. If it burned like this, the day, the day it happened. That's horrible. That is just fucking horrible. Speak to old Pops. Let's look at him first. I miss him so much. We can tell, Chloe. We know. Dad? What are we doing here? He's gonna feed it the marshmallow. What the fuck? Uh, are you trying to tell me something? Dad? I don't understand. What's roast? This is really freaky. <laughs> really weird. The original game had weird elements in it too. I like it though, it's different. It's different from the norm. Makes you wonder. Amazing, isn't it? I can't look away. Pyromaniac? Sure. Don't pretend you're not mesmerized too. <laughs> See? You're so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. Danger? Fire blinds us, just like darkness. But darkness blinds with absence, with loss. What does fire blind with? Beauty. Hmm. Oh, shit. He did a wax on, wax off to that fire. But sometimes, there's a greater beauty yet to come incredible 
What kind of cigarettes were you smoking, girl? It wants all the beauty for itself. That's why you need to be careful. Okay. Voice careful voice changer. Boy. Oh my god, it's Mel Gibson. He was gnawing on his face. Man without a face. I don't know, I'm gonna assume it's a raven just because it's big. It's a bigger bird than a crow. I'm gonna go with raven. That's what I'm sticking to. I am gonna research it by my next episode. And I will confirm what it is hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette you could start a fire <laughs> yeah we know about fires what's the theme with fire in this in this series though so are you gonna invite me in or what you're a vampire, aren't you? I knew it. I love giving rides to strange drifters. Hop in. <laughs> Thanks. She got the duffel bag. She ready to bounce. Well, we got the car. We got the belongings. We got the girl. Let's bounce. Yeah, Bronx Tale. Well, that's that's opposite Bronx tail. <laughs> Damn, you've been busy. It's nothing, just some junk I found lying around. A uh, pirate flag. A cool blue light. Holy shit. The all-seeing eye. <laughs> Figured it can't hurt to have the Illuminati on our side for whenever shit goes down. Always thinking ahead. Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. Uh... I hope. <laughs> That's the hope. But it doesn't exactly drive yet. You'll figure it out. And while you're at it, we're also gonna need some money. <laughs> You know, to buy stuff. Uh-huh. Car and money? <laughs> Anything else you'd like? Luckily, there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> that Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you owe me big time. I can't believe he actually expelled you. <laughs> Why not? No reason to prolong the inevitable. It's definitely Blackwell's loss. You that was nice. for me was amazing. I don't know how to thank you. <sighs> Whatever. You tried to cover for me too. Tried and failed. <laughs> I guess we know who the better liar is. Or maybe my lie was the one he wanted to believe. Yeah. At least Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. You think? Wildfire. <sighs> last I checked. You're the one who went all puff the manic dragon on that tree last night. <laughs> Word. What were you thinking? I was angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. But come on, doesn't accomplice sound way cooler than accessory after the fact? <laughs> is that the official Arcadia Bay DA's opinion? Accomplice it is. <laughs> I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. Ah, uh, you say that now. He announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh, Chloe, that's awful. I'm so sorry. You know what we both could use? Therapy. Weed. Is that what you mean? Therapy. <laughs> you start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. Oh. Getting physical. Well, Doc. Hmm. There's this dildo with a mustache who's been dating my mom, and now he thinks. 
he's moving in with us. How do I stop him? You don't. Hmm. That's a hard one. I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Yeah. Then what the hell am I talking to you for? Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. The resistance begins now. Alright. You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got? Step douche. <laughs> the first one, yup, there it is. He's, uh, step douche. Because he's inserting himself where he doesn't belong. Also, <laughs> he's a douche. <laughs> Poetic. May I also suggest step ladder? Why step ladder? <laughs> because he climbs on your mom every night. Oh. Ew. And pretty soon, they'll be stepping down the aisle. What the hell kind of therapist are you? A Sorry. twisted kind. It's called shock therapy. <laughs> Highly controversial. Uh, let's go with Blackwell next. I've been booted from school, and I'm not entirely sure what to do about it. You mean how to cope with your feelings of anger and disappointment? No. I mean how to express my feelings of intense joy. Uh-huh. Do you think you might be taking this a little too well? Yeah, you I think me. she is. I'd say I'm exceptionally well adjusted. I'd bet my therapist's license that no one's ever called you that before. <laughs> Touche, Doc. So, my new friend, who everyone thinks is perfect, did something batshit fucking nutso last night. What do I do? This perfect friend of yours who, I'm assuming, is also an exceptional beauty, sounds like she may have been inspired by someone new in her life. Oh, damn. Someone who is also, may I add, a knockout in the looks department. Perhaps this friend of yours, who, I reiterate, must be just stunning, needed someone in her life to teach her. How to break into a viewfinder? How not to give a fuck. Because... <laughs> She was tired of having to give so many fucks all the time. That makes sense. That was actually somewhat therapeutic. Thank you. It's always a pleasure delving into the mind of Chloe Price. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. It sucks. Too blunt? Sorry. I do that sometimes. Nah, she needs to talk no, about it. I'm just... Ugh, I don't know. We've been open with her. She needs to do the same. Can we talk about something else? Oh my god. Of course. Horrible. Let's talk about Wells. Hey. You ever try picturing what Principal Wells does when he's not at school? I see, like, a bed covered in teddy bears, and he's tying a little necktie around each one. What the uh, That's weird. I'm a weirdo. They need to just make out already. Do you think there's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore you're just whatever you think other people want you to be I think you have a personality of course I wasn't talking about me my dad doesn't really exist you saw him in Wells's office the whole thing is a performance and now I'm starting to feel like everything in my life is bullshit can't. He's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? Can't decide what's real, what's not. I won't let you. You just need someone around who likes you for who you are and isn't afraid to call bullshit when needed. Let me know if you find any candidates for the job. I'll get on that. Shit. It's time for the play. As if my life didn't have enough drama in it. Good luck. You know you're never supposed to tell an actor good luck before a show? It's bad luck. Break How is telling someone good luck 
bad luck. You're supposed to say, break a leg. <laughs> That's dumb. That's what they do. Hey, I, I was thinking that after the show, maybe we could go do something. Just you and me. Something criminal? Criminally fun. Yeah, I don't feel <laughs> like doing any more fires, though. We had enough of that. Wait, you forgot your bag. It's for you. Just a little survival kit for your new life on the lamb. Drive safe, Chloe. I'm surprised Frank didn't come and meet Rachel. Well, it would have been an interesting interaction to see. Are we gonna are we gonna make our little home here? A little homestead? Hello, junk shack. That's what it's called, uh, junk shack. Got a time to check out Rachel Amber's mystery bag. Well, first we gotta check out what Mikey has to say. Heard you got expelled. Sorry, yeah, I rolled a one against Wells. <laughs> Steph says you're a nerd. <laughs> that was good. A bag full of clothes. We're gonna dress like Rachel. Yes, I need those. Among among other things, yes. Surprised there aren't any homeless people here already. It's like prime real estate for such an individual. I don't remember that in the uh, final bit in the original game. It's time to talk about the elephant in the room. This elephant fucking rules. <laughs> Excuse me. Tag? I remember there was a tag. Yeah, eventually Rachel's gonna say she was here too. Enough. It's important to mark my territory for all future Chunk Shack visitors. Yeah, Max. The cutting edge in junkyard security technology. Now we need some darts. That'll be a fun time. Keep the music on. I like having music on when I'm redecorating or cleaning. <laughs> Nothing like an abandoned shaft in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe. Rorschach skull. Bonus outfits. I guess that. Illuminati, hot dog, punk. So, let's go with Illuminati. That looks cool. I dig it. Yeah, where you at, Frank? I'm at the junkyard now. All right, buddy. Let's go look for you then. Well, there's his RV. Oh, shit. Yeah, we tagged it. Forgot about that. 
Whoa. That's the woman we saw with Rachel's dad. What is she doing there? Is she in the drugs? Or is she in the Frank? Which yeah. one? Yo, Frank. It's Chloe. I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password drugs? <laughs> right. Get your ass in here. What's the problem, man? <laughs> Dude, it smells like piss in here. <laughs> Shut up. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? It looks better than what it did in the original game. God, jeez, man. Get my notebook, Price. Then we'll talk. Now I'm fetch. Dude, I heard you got expelled. Bad news. You mean good news? I'm stoked. Word. I'm home too. I finally got busted yesterday for smelling like weed. My mom's making me go to her book group. Oh man. Things for Frank. At least we're not the only oh, fuck ups. Yeah, we're go we've gone pretty low on this hold and pull, Chloe. Fight the power. Oregon search and seize your law, your guide to understanding search warrants and how to protect your assets. Of course he'd have that in there. Of course. <sighs> Sorry, Frank. I didn't know it was your RV when I wrote that. Hello, you're definitely not a meth lab, and I'm definitely not interested. Oh, shit. Ugh. Ugh, gross. Beans. Him and his damn beans. Bomb sauce. For the man who enjoys searing pain with his drive through order. I like hot sauce. Let's graffiti his desk. Or his page. Work home. You know we can't resist a good graffiti, a good tag. <laughs> a real house, damn. He's gonna know we graffitied his RV. Who else could have done it inside his house? Apparently, Frank is a werewolf. Damn, how much steak could a motherfucker have? It's over. Part of a balanced breakfast. Your favorite cereal, Chloe? Oh shit. I guess Frank subscribes to the hiding in plain sight philosophy of drug stashing. I'm not gonna take it. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna try to avoid weed as Chloe as much as I can. Pompadou! Hey, you're just a puppy. <laughs> oh shit. Pompadou, get up here. Man, cute. Pompadou. You little killer. <laughs> that makes me want a dog now. You can't be doing this to be game. Poor Frank. Next time, try ask Miss Arcadia. Hi there, my dog is three months old and still peeing everywhere. What do I do? Thanks, Frank. <laughs> Puppies have accidents when they are scared. You have to stop scolding your puppy. Thanks, but I don't scold him. Then why is she having accidents? Raising a puppy requires patience. If you cannot control yourself, please look deeply and honestly at whether you are really able to have a dog. What's your fucking problem, lady? I said I don't scold him. Wow, there's no need to swear. I think it's pretty clear now that you do scold her and worse. <laughs> Rachel, the therapist, would have a field day with this. What age will dog eat steak? Pisshead music. Mia Kunis single. What the fuck? Negan Fox single. Well, large was biggest. Why won't puppy eat steak? <laughs> Wait, there was more. Poor Frank. Ah, shit. The mill burned down. 
Went back to the mill, shouldn't have. I'm fucking furious. Everything's burned. Total massacre. Can't stop thinking about it. Dogs didn't make it. That's 10,000 gone just like that. Plus the stud fees we had coming. RF and that whole crew are gonna be pissed. How am I supposed to come back from this with my fucking reputation intact? I can't think straight on this shit right now. I just want to find who started the fire and burn his fucking face. Oh, wow. Well... Jeez. That's an expensive dog. You like the dog? I thought you would. That dog is special, man. Callie's buyer wanted him, and I said, fuck off. Keep your 3000 I'm saving him for my buddy Frank. I mean it. Everything you've done for me adds up way more than the 3000 Don't thank me. This is from me to you. Just let me breed him later, Damon. Him. Is it a girl or a boy puppy? I thought Pompadou was a boy, though. Yeah. I hope Argus and Bowser are okay. So Frank's a fellow survivor of Black Hell. Who knew? Oh shit, I never knew that. Wow. He went to Blackwell. Okay. You know what? We're gonna take the weed. Chloe would do it. Don't mind if I do. It's Don't probably gonna be you. Fucking think about it. Damn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he caught us. <laughs> um. A swingy, flippy instrument of death. Yeah, we know about that knife. Wow. That pillow is definitely dead. Yeah. That's probably the notebook Frank wants. Okay, but we're not gonna do that just yet. I got prying to do. Frank and his BFF. That's adorable. A throne fit for Frank. Guess Frank finally gave up on the stake. Yeah, he must have. Can't give a dog a puppy steak. What was that? Uh, we just looked at that. Die. All right, we're taking this. what I think it is. Glad I paid that off. Yeah, he's selling to the freaking students. Time to find out what Frank wants to discuss. Yeah, see what's up. He's gonna talk about the mill and why it's burning down and he thinks we're related to it. Let's go. Is this it? <sighs> Here we go. Have a seat. We're gonna be into some deep Probably shit. Do, huh? That's one badass name. A dog. It's French. Huh? <laughs> He's not poodle. French for what? Yeah, I want to know. Does it mean like tough guy or something? Do I look like I speak fucking French? <laughs> then why name it that? Okay. So, who was that woman? What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV. Oh yeah, I meant to introduce you. Yeah, who is that? My name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. Fuck you. We're gonna demand the answer. Rachel would want to know more. I bet I can convince Frank it's harmless to tell me. Yeah, Dude, let's do it. I'm just curious. What's the big deal? Idiot. I make money by being discreet. You made no promises. It's not like you signed a confidentiality agreement. You can be less discreet this one time. Nope. I protect my clients. Damn, he won that Happy one. Customers are the foundation of a good business. Dream Cloud. Hey, so uh, I had this dream the other night about a cloud that swallowed Arcadia Bay. You too. What? You see, we're a lot alike, Frank. We've got shit in common. Sure, I guess. So why are you so hung up on this chick? Uh. Come on, Frank. This is Arcadia Bay. Gossip is all we have to keep us from hanging ourselves out of boredom. Did we do it? Well, I guess you're not asking for life or death information here. It's true, we're not. We've already crossed over. 
You know when I joke about being your favorite customer? I'm kind of not joking. Deep down in your gut, I think you know you can totally trust me. I don't know. Frank. Talk, and I'll get my mom to make you something special. She'll make you like beans. What? The beans. How about that firehouse chili of hers? <laughs> you got it. The woman you saw. Her name's Sarah. She showed up a few weeks ago, causing all kinds of trouble for all sorts of people. The fuck like did who? she do? It's a little out of your league, okay? But what kind of trouble exactly? Forget about it, Chloe. You shouldn't have opened my mouth. Thanks for telling me. Yeah, somewhat. Whatever. You hear the mill burn down? Yeah. I, uh, heard some stuff about it. Crazy. My friend Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. Money from what? Well, he's always had a few things going on. I help him out with some of them. Drugs. Don't drown me in the details, Frank. Yeah. Lately, He's been doing some stuff that I don't like, but I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Anyway, you and I have shit to discuss. He was doing dog fights. I mean, that's what I felt like he was talking about. Open my notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? <laughs> Drew North? Y yeah, he's... Holy shit. That's a lot of money. That kid that's Drew involved with Nathan? Apparently, football players eat it like candy. Oh, shit. That's smart, I guess. It pays well. Go Bigfoots. That's Bob why he has that. Drew owes a grin. Maybe. And he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with him? He's a douchebag. Uh, he's an unreliable douchebag. No, nah, this is the first time he's done this. The kid's actually smart. Anyway. Here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Can you handle that? Why me? Yeah. Yeah, of course. But what's in it for me? I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Okay, we do need money. Yeah, sure. I'll do it. What's the matter? It might be a little tough. I, I'm not supposed to be at Blackwell. I got expelled this morning. Congratulations. Sure. It's still easier for you to go on campus than for me. If you can't even do this price... A hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay with a bit of cash and the truck fixed, Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. I'll do it. Good deal. Oh boy, we're just getting deeper and deeper into the bullshit here, aren't we? <sighs> things can't be, uh, <laughs> things aren't gonna go well. I can already imagine. They're not going to go well. We're not even supposed to be at Blackwell. That's a familiar uh, scenery. It's weird walking around Blackwell as Chloe as opposed to Max. Didn't think I'd be back this soon. Yeah, that makes two of us. Well, here goes nothing. Tape? The hell for? Is this wet concrete? Is that what I saw? You better hurry up and get into the dorms. Yeah, that's what it says. What is this? What would I buy if I had enough money to build a whole dorm? Pro Probably not a dorm. Yeah, real shit. Um, what's the text? Elliot. What's going on? Tempest is going to be awesome. Like, awesomely bad, I mean. It's going to be hilarious. Hey, don't worry about being expelled, okay? Dude, I'm fine. Rachel. 
Wow. Lots to talk about, huh? Back at school yet again, they've got some tents up for dressing rooms. What are you up to? I'm here too, actually, running an errand for my dealer. Oh, really? So bad. Come see me when you're done. Yeah, for sure. P.S. I saw that woman that your dad was with coming out of the, my dealer's RV. What? Apparently, she's causing trouble for a lot of people or something. Her name's Sarah. Rachel? I think maybe I prefer not knowing her name. Oh, my bad. No, it's fine. See you soon. Alright, and that's going to be an episode, guys. Next episode, we're going to take money from Drew. So that we can start our stash to get the fuck out of Arcadia Bay with Rachel. Even though we know that's not going to happen. And I don't know why that is, but in time we will know. And uh, maybe we'll see that Tempest show too. Because Rachel wants to meet up, so we'll see what that's about too. Alright, I'll catch y'all later. It's been God Darren the one-up man. Playing Life is Strange before the storm. Take it easy. Laters.